This afternoon we have sophomore forward Dolecki and freshman midfielder uh, Hannah LeBlanc uh, after a thrilling one to nothing victory over Husson University with 10 sec 15 seconds rather remaining, uh, Doe you scored the game winning goal. Um, right off the bat, what was that like for you? Is that the most exciting goal you've scored in your college career? Um, I don't know, it felt really good obviously. That's like one of the many reasons, I guess I could say why I play soccer and I think it just mm -hmm. proved that um, that's why people need to crash to the net. Um, Megan Pellini had like a really great ball earlier in the game and it hit the crossbar and I was just so mad at myself um, for not going to it. And from then on and I was just like, you gotta be there, you gotta frame the goal, like that's the only way you're gonna get it. It, it felt good. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really glad we beat Hudson because I know that it's been a while, so. Yeah, it's been since 2004. We haven't played them every year during the last eight or nine years, but it's the last win over Hudson came in 2004. Snapped a four-game losing streak against the Eagles today, former conference foe. And Hannah, you played a major role today. You had six shots. Um, you seemed like you were all over the place. Kind of the Hannah LeBlanc coming out show here today at St. Yeah. Joe's. Talk about your experience in today's game. Um, well, being a freshman, I definitely didn't think I would get as much play time as I did. But like, I just kept making the runs back and forth. And I think that that definitely just helped. And I know Doe gave me some pointers to like cut the ball back when I like got up to the touch line. And I did that a couple of times. So I think it just worked. And I think we played well and deserved the win. And Coach Bolands after the game was was obviously very excited over the win, and he said, "How about how about number 11? She's a good player, isn't she?" I said, "Yeah, she's uh, she's quick and she can really kick the ball." At uh, Holy Vasquez, SJC News, um, ladies, uh, you guys last two games, you guys outscored op opponents 13-0. Uh, to zero. Um, Today it wasn't like that. Today it was a little more uh, aggressive on the defensive end. Uh, what did Huston do that you guys weren't accustomed to this year? What what kind of things that you guys needed to adjust to halftime? And in overtime, it was 0-0 zero, zero going into the second overtime. Uh, what, do you guys, what do you guys need to change going into that overtime? I mean, I've personally never played Huston before, um, except I think we knew it was coming in a way. I think we knew they were going to be more aggressive than the other teams we've played. Uh, they're similar to us. So I was told that a lot um, by a coach and by the players. Um, that we're going to have to mentally prepare for that situation um, as a freshman. I'm not really sure. I really, I never heard of Hussein. I just knew that they were going to be physical. So I guess we just had to bring it, and we did. Now, Hannah, you said you didn't expect to play quite as much as you did today. Is this the most that you've played in a game so far in the season? Yeah, so far into the season. Now, you had four assists in the last game. Yeah. So you didn't play as much in that game as you did today. Um, well, when you count the overtimes, no. No, good, good point. Um, so, um, I'm going to speak on your goal that you had in the second overtime. Uh, checking with about uh, five minutes and 30 seconds left to go for uh, Catherine Chambers, who last week scored three goals in one game. Uh, what was your mindset going into that second overtime, like 5.30 to go, sophomore, going for a big time score? Like, what, what, was, your, what was your mind at? Um, I would say my mindset for the whole game, actually, once we got going, was that uh, we were controlling the game. It might have been not reflecting on the scoreboard, but uh, it was in their end most of the time, and I think in that matter, we dominated them. Um, so I just kept thinking to myself, especially in overtime, I was like, there's no way we're not winning this game. There's no way we're not going to Like, the whole time I was playing my head, I was like, we've got to get at least one goal because that's the only way we're going to come out of here with a win. Mm -hmm. And after how many ties we had last year, I just don't want any more ties. So I would say that was like, the best mentality I had to push myself was that, like, not walking on the field until someone on the field scores. And uh, I mean, it was kind of close to 10 seconds, but <laughs> we, did <laughs> we, it. we did the job, yeah. So now, this this program in the last couple of years has kind of been known for outplaying an opponent, outshooting an opponent opponent by a wide margin. Today, 37 to six, only one goal and came with 15 seconds left. Seems like things were, just weren't really going your way. That, that, you know, you didn't have any ball luck and, and things like that. Just kind of talk about that. You know that you're dominating the game, like you said. Uh, that's quite a, a shot's margin. Maybe Hannah, you can you can talk about that that type of a game and what's what's going through your mind when you know you're, you're putting a, you're pepper in their goalie, but nothing's going through. Um, well, it's definitely frustrating, but you just got to keep your head up because like it will come at some point, and it did. I mean, it took until the last 15 seconds, but we did it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so both of you guys, uh, you're not, you're both not traditional starters. You come off the bench and you try to provide a lot of energy. Um, you guys played a lot in the last 
three quarters, we're going to say three quarters in the double overtime second half. Uh, what, what, what didn't you see in the team that those, that those minutes when you guys came in and provided the energy that you guys did today versus a good opponent hustle? Um, sometimes, I mean, I think it's um, a good mentality to want to start. Sometimes I like not starting because we need that spark to get going. We need those uh, players that do different things when they come off the bench that the ones that might not necessarily be doing right off because they're still trying to get the feel. So there's pros and cons of both. I think sitting back and watching the first 15 minutes of the game to see how the other team plays, know what you got to do when you go in there, um, could almost be a benefit. I don't know how you yeah, feel. Yeah, no, I completely agree. I think it's easier sometimes to just watch like the field and see like who goes where and like what player is aggressive and what player like isn't as fast as you think you are and stuff like that. So yeah, sometimes it's like better to sit and watch for a few. It's almost um, intimidating probably to the other team when you have that many subs come off the bench, knowing like oh they're probably just as good as starters if you mm -hmm. have that many coming yeah. off the bench to sub in. That could be this year's team's biggest strength. Would you guys agree that depth definitely is, yep. is a big strength? One through twenty-two or twenty-five or whatever the number 26. could be. Yeah. Twenty-six. <laughs> I was getting there. Sorry. Um, and then not many teams can say that. Now, Doe, you kind of—we're uh, not going to disclose any invert injury information here—but you kind of limped into the room. Um, is that? I see you limping after games quite a bit because of the way you play. You kind of crash the net. Talk about what happened today. Um, I do have like a few chronic injuries that I try to play for, uh, play through as it is. Um, I think before overtime happened, some girl just nicked me right in the knee, and I have a pretty good ball down there right now. So yeah. uh, I'll have Neil take a look at it, I guess. <laughs> I don't want it to stop me from playing, but um, yeah, yeah. I'll definitely need to do what I can to so I can keep playing because not playing hasn't really been an option for me <laughs> in a few years. So right. Um, yeah, it hurt, but when you're in that kind of intensity mode, you just like got to keep doing everything you can to play through it, that's what I think. You guys are similar in some ways with your, with your style of play, but also quite different. You crash the net, you go right into it. Hannah, you, I don't know if you get touched that much. It seems like you're, you're, always, you're on the outside, obviously, yeah. and you're, you're, you're running through. It didn't seem like you got hit that much. Would you say that was the yeah, case today? Yeah, I would today? say that. I'd say I just kept running through the ball and <laughs> like, just got all the crosses in and did what I had to do. Right. Um, so now you're getting into your conference schedule. Uh, what is it, Simmons on Saturday? Uh, what are you looking to accomplish going, you know, in the practices leading up to that? And what do you expect from Simmons College? I think that's going to be a huge game for us. And um, when we beat them, I think it's going to be a really big confidence booster for our team because mm -hmm. it will be our first conference game. Um, the most important thing is that every single player has to have like the same amount of effort and the same amount of 100% like same mentality in order for um, us to win games like that or even like win a championship. You, if you have a few people that aren't as into it as everybody else, you're not going to go as far. Mm -hmm. um, they were good last year, but we played well and if we play well again, um, I think it'll be a good game. No more ties. Yeah, no, no more time. We did beat them last year, though. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> okay, okay, good. And Hannah, what do you say now? I know it's, it's going to be your first conference game yeah. as a freshman. Uh, what do you expect going into that? Um, I think that if we just play the way that we've played like before, we know how to play the game. I think if we just keep it together, it should go the way we want it to. But everyone, like Doe said, everyone has to have the same mentality and be on the same page. And then I think we can just like play our best and do good. One last question. Uh, this kind of just came to me. When, when you guys are going in as subs, and, and you guys, this team subs a lot, uh, what does that do for the on-field chemistry? Is that kind of a different, you know, you don't necessarily go in with the same player. You're not up top with the same other forward. Uh, what does that do for the on-field kind of, you know, the way the, game, the flow of the game goes? I mean, of course, different people will work well together. Mm. Uh, however, we scrimmage and do a lot of drills in practice. So I think that uh, for the most part, we have a feel of who, how, like, who plays, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I know, like, the w Hannah style versus Kim Jordan style versus Dane Daigle style. Um, from practice and from playing with them, it might be different for her playing for her first year because you don't really know how to play with each other yet. I know right. that um, our sophomore class has, I think, personally, like, have played better together this year than last year because we have more of a feel for each other now. Right. So that's kind of spread throughout the rest of the team. And how do you yeah. feel about that, that same kind of question going in as a freshman with upperclassmen? Um, 
Uh, well, I think we definitely play well together, and like being a freshman, I didn't really know how the team was like last year and stuff like that. But I think like everyone's playing style is like different, but like we put it together in a way that like we know how to play with each other. Mm. Yeah, that's what so. makes us good. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Obviously, it's worked out <laughs> well so far. Three and zero, three shutout wins. The most thrilling win of the year by far uh, today. One nothing double overtime win. Congratulations on the win. Very exciting, and good luck yeah. this weekend. Thanks. Thank you.